Football is a truly physically demanding game, and sometimes the tensions get better for the players. Even though the players are at the top state of their physical condition, they're prime specimens, slabs of meat as some would call them, there's a few ailments that can in any case affect them when they least expect. There have been like many different occasions when footballers have just fallen on the pitch. Christian Eriksson collapsed while representing Denmark at the UEFA Euro 2020 game against Finland on the 12th of June in 2021. The game was promptly ended as it impacted the players on two sides and the fans alike. The Danish midfielder got very quick medical consideration, however the unexpected nature of his breakdown stunned the entire football world. Football has seen numerous occurrences of such sports when footballers just fell on the pitch because of medical problems. This occurrence helps us to remember the injury that these occasions can cause on the attitude of the players and the football community at large. So, that being said, in the most non-morbid way we can do, here are six footballers who collapsed on the pitch midway through a game. But, obviously, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, all that fun stuff. Anyways, moving on. Pier Mario Morosini, born on the 5th of July in 1986, was an Italian football professional player who played as a midfielder. Morosini began his profession at the Old Neighborhood Club Atlanta and was offered to Udinese in a co-proprietorship bargain during 2005. On the 23rd of October in 2005, he debuts in Serie A in the match Udinese Inter, gathering an absolute five appearances in the league. In this season 2005 to 2006, he makes a big appearance, likewise in the UEFA Cup in the match Levski Sofia Udinese. Piero Mario Morosini collapsed during a Serie B game while playing for Livorno against Pescara. The 25-year-old was on loan from Serie A side Udinese and had a promising profession laid out in front of him. He just imploded on the pitch. In attempting to pick himself up various times during the 31st minute of the match, medical authorities immediately took to his attention. He was taken to a medical clinic where specialists were unsuccessful in reviving him. Doctors later confirmed that Morosini didn't have a heartbeat when he was brought. An examination revealed the reason for the breakdown was heart failure. This incident sent shockwaves all over the globe, particularly in Italy, where all matches were cancelled. The Italian football generation manager Antonio Valentini responded to the tragedy by suspending all remaining weekend football, starting with the Serie A match between AC Milan and Genoa. Fans already at San Siro Arena responded to that announcement to such a great extent with commendation, although some of them jeered. Italian Olympic Committee President Giovanni Petrucci later welcomed all Italian league games to observe a minute of quietness in memory of Morosini. Fabrice Ndala Mwamba, born on the 6th of April in 1988, is an English retired professional footballer and mentor who played for Arsenal Birmingham City and Bolton Wanderers as a central midfielder. Born in Zaire, Mwamba moved to England at 11 years old and thusly played for England up to the under-21 level. Mwamba started his profession in 2002 joining Arsenal's Youth Academy. After three years, he turned professional in 2005. He made his debut for Arsenal in the League Cup, however, he played just one other professional match for the club. Following a loan spell with Birmingham City, he made the move permanent in 2007. He remained with Birmingham City for one extra year and left after showing up and making England under-21 presentation while with the group. He joined Bolton Wanderers in 2008. But only a month before Pier Mario Morosini's incident, Fabrice Mwamba likewise went through a similar health crisis. In March 2012, the Bolton Wanderers player just collapsed during an FA Cup tie against Tottenham Hotspur at White Hart Lane. The 23-year-old fell on the ground minutes before halftime. Mwamba was taken very quickly to a nearby clinic and the game was just abandoned entirely, as it should have been. Reports later suggested that his heart quit beating for 78 minutes before functioning again. The player regained consciousness after two or three days because of this amazing medical help, and he's still alive today, fortunately. Jeez, my heart feels weird right now. Not like I'm just sad, but like, damn, just gave out. Anyways, Chaik Ismael Teote, who lived from the 21st of June in 1986 to the 5th of June in 2017, was an Ivorian professional footballer who played as a defensive midfielder. After playing youth football for FC Bibo in his old neighborhood of Yamasokro, he made his expert debut in 2005 with Belgian First Division A club Anderlecht. In 2008, following an advance at Roda JC, he joined Eredivisie club FC Twente, bringing home the championship in his second season. In August in 2010, he signed for Premier League club Newcastle United in England for a charge of 3.5 million euros. Teote played 156 games for Newcastle North and six and a half seasons, scoring one goal. 
In February of 2017, he joined China League One club Beijing Enterprises Group. Jaik Diote was one of the most lamentable figures who just couldn't endure the unfavorable impacts of heart failure. In 2017 of June, Diote collapsed during an intersectional course with his new club Beijing Enterprises. The previous Newcastle United player had moved to China as of late and was just a few days short of his 31st birthday. The midfielder unfortunately died after being taken to a clinic for treatment. Diote scored just a single goal for Newcastle United which came during a notorious 4-4 draw against Arsenal. Returning from 4-0 down was a huge, huge accomplishment, and the significance of that goal has turned into a remarkable crossroads in the club's set of experiences. Abdelhak Nouri was born the 2nd of April in 1997. He's a Dutch former expert footballer who played as a midfielder. Nouri worked as basically an attacking midfielder, yet could likewise be deployed as a winger. A youth product of Eredivisie club Ajax, he played two years of senior football with his reserve team and the main team. He likewise represented the Netherlands at different youth levels. In July of 2017, at age 20, Abdelhak Nouri collapsed during a friendly game for Ajax during Werder Bremen. The youthful midfielder was one of the most splendid upcoming abilities from the Dutch outfit before experiencing heart failure on the field. Nouri got quick medical consideration and a helicopter carried the player to a close-by emergency clinic. Two years and nine months after the incident, and having suffered extremely permanent brain damage, Nuri came out of a coma. In March 2020, the player woke up and can now sit in a wheelchair, yet at the time still needs a lot of human assistance. He's presently back home with his family, yet the way to recuperation is going to be long. So if any of you have faith, you might want to send out a little energy. Christian Danemann Eriksen, born on the 14th of February in 1992, is a Danish professional footballer who plays as an offensive midfielder for the Premier League club Brentford and the Denmark national team. He's likewise fit for playing as a central midfielder or a mezzaluna. Eriksen started his senior club profession at age 18 out of 2010, playing for Ajax, where he came out on top for three Eredivisie championships in the KNVB Cup. In 2013, Eriksen signed for Tottenham Hotspur in an exchange worth 11 million euros where he was basically two-time named the club's player of the year and was cast in a ballot for the 2017-18 PFA Team of the Year. And likewise, he later reached the 2019 UEFA Champions League final. In 2020, Eriksen joined Inter Milan in exchange worth 19.7 million euros and came out on top for a Serie A championship preceding the shared end of his agreement in 2021. Eriksen got back to the Premier League in 2022 with a move to Brentford. He made his senior international debut for Denmark in 2010 at the age of 18 and has since earned more than 100 covers, including appearing for five major competitions. He was also the youngest player at the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Eriksen is the country's seventh most highest goal scorer of all time and was named Danish Football Player of the Year for a record multiple times. But, unfortunately, the Denmark midfielder fell during a UEFA Euro 2020 game against Finland in the 43rd moment. Reports suggested that Christian Eriksen experienced heart failure. The medical group immediately raced to the player and gave him CPR while the players shaped a circle around him. The extent of his condition and the causes that drove it and more will be revealed in due time. This one was fairly recent. However, the specialist had the option to help Eriksen in regaining consciousness before an ambulance took one more time to take him to a nearby hospital. Further reports have confirmed that he is responding and recovering greatly to the underlying therapy by medical experts. And it doesn't sound like his heart wasn't pumping for quite as long as our last one that received severe brain damage, so here's to hoping. Miklos Miki Feher, born on the 20th of July in 1975, died on the 25th of January in 2004, was a Hungarian professional footballer who played as a striker. He spent most of his nine-year career at Portugal representing four clubs and amassing Primera Liga totals of 80 games and 27 goals. Pretty good stats. The Hungary striker was playing for Portuguese side Benfica against Vitoria Guimarães in January 2004 when he fell over in a torment before falling into reverse onto the pitch after having a heart attack. Surgeons attempted to revive the oblivious 24-year-old before he was taken off in a cot and raced to the medical clinic. Again, doctors tried to resuscitate him for almost an hour and a half before he was pronounced dead. These were the harsh incidents that took place on the pitch, and we lost some gems, ladies and gents. So, may their souls rest in peace, whatever denomination of faith you are. Or, if you're an atheist like me, know that they lived a good life. Sorry if that was <laughs> a bummer, but, uh, you know, not everything in life is a laugh. 
Anyways, make sure you guys hit the like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.